Hi, this is Marcia Jeans, Instructional Technology Specialist, and in this video I'm going to show you the basics of locking down objects. Oftentimes you'll want objects locked down, so if you look at this sorting exercise, the items at the bottom will be dragged to the proper location. But what we don't want to happen is while students are dragging, they accidentally move the graphic organizer or the titles. So a simple way to make those so that they cannot be moved is you click on an object and you click on the down arrow and you go to locking, lock in place. Notice there's also a keyboard command that works for that and it's control K. So on this one I'm going to go ahead and click lock in place and notice when I go back to click on it, there's a little lock on it. And if I try to move it, nothing will happen. If I ever want to unlock something, I come back up here, click on the item, click on the lock, and then click unlock. Or keyboard command, control J. So, I'm going to do the keyboard command on this one now to get it back locked. I'm also going to show you if you have several items. So I do have actually several items on this page that I'd like to lock. I want to lock the T-chart and the short A and long A titles. Let me show you a quick little way to do it. I'm going to take my cursor up here in the top left-hand corner and kind of drag it so it selects all of the objects. Now I'm not going to select the ones on the bottom because I really don't want those to lock. Then I'm going to do my simple keyboard command of Control K and I lock them all at one time. If I ever need to unlock them, I will have to go and click on each individual item and click unlock or Control J. Now, here's another little trick. These words down here should not be locked. However, especially with younger kids, they often, when they're moving them, they accidentally double tap. And when you double tap on a word, the editing box comes up. And then you can't move it when the editing box is in there. So I'm going to show you a neat little trick that will eliminate that from um, happening. All right, again, I'm going to click on the word, do the down arrow, go to lock, and then there's something called allow move. So. What this will do is it will actually take away the possibility of the students accidentally double clicking on it. So now I can move it around, but notice I can't double click to go in and edit it. If I want to go in and edit it, I do have to unlock it. This is a very nifty little thing. I highly recommend using that when you're doing text. So I want to do all these at once. I can highlight all of them by dragging kind of a box around them with my cursor. And I can click on any one of these drop-down arrows, go to Locking, Allow, Move. Now, that also works well if you have a shape and you do not want kids accidentally changing the shape. So if I, let's just say I drew a shape here and I want to allow it to move, but I don't want kids accidentally um, messing it up and changing the shape and making it longer or wider, I do the same thing. Click on it, lock, allow, move. And there is one other option, although I haven't used it too often, but you can allow, move, and rotate. So the allow, move will not allow you to rotate in any way. And that is a simple video on locking down items.